I'm Kevin DeLalo, CEO at Manatee Memorial Hospital, and welcome to the Golden Herald Awards. This is an unprecedented time. So right now, I'm in Manatee Memorial Hospital, and we have no students here, but we are immensely proud to continue this long-standing tradition of the Golden Herald Awards, honoring outstanding Manatee County High School seniors for their noble service to their school and their community. This program identifies students who exemplify strong characteristics of future leaders, and one we hope will continue their commitment to giving back. The Golden Herald Awards in 1978 set out to recognize outstanding seniors in Manatee County. To date, the program has honored over 5,200 high school seniors for their commitment to the school and community. The essential qualification of the Golden Herald Award nominee is service. Each participating student and school is invited to nominate up to two seniors in each of the 16 categories for a total of 32 nominees per school. This year, we are honoring a total of 131 nominees. Nominees are selected based on achievement, leadership, and character, and must have the equivalent of a B average in the classes relating to their category. Each Golden Herald Award nominee exemplifies the unselfishness use of his or her talents and abilities to help others. Each is an individual with a noble record of achievement and service to school and community. In that sense, every Golden Herald Award nominee is a winner. This year, due to COVID-19, we had to change the format for interviewing the nominees to the teleconference rather than a live interview I would like to commend and thank the community leaders who served as a 2020 award judge. They played a vital role in the awards and had the daunting task of interviewing these outstanding seniors and then selecting an honorable mention recipient and a Golden Herald Award winner in the category. The judges are a select group of community leaders who volunteered their time to perform this difficult task. Thank you for your dedication and support of our seniors. We have a terrific community partner for the Golden Herald Awards, without whom this event would not be possible. At this time, I would like to recognize our community partners for their contribution to this year's event. The Braden and Herald and Manatee Memorial Medical Staff as a gold sponsor. NDC Construction, Pittsburgh Pirates, the Bradenton Marauders as silver sponsors. Kaiser University, Turner Construction Company, State College of Florida, Mosaic Company, and the Anna Maria, Anna Maria Oyster Bar Restaurant as the bronze sponsors. And the Brundage Group, FPNL, METV, and Schofield and Spencer PA as our community sponsors. Aaron Energy and Raymond James and Associates Inc., Bruce Body as donors. In addition, Manatee Memorial Hospital the Manatee Memorial Foundation, and the Manatee Memorial Medical Staff are all proud to support this long-standing tradition of the Golden Herald Awards honoring outstanding Manatee County High School seniors for noble service to their schools and community. Thank you to all the sponsors. Tonight, I am honored to announce these winners. Please see the list of names of the nominees for each category on the screen. Each nominee will receive a certificate of achievement to commemorate this exceptional honor. The winner and honorable mention will be highlighted once I have announced the winner. So let's get started. In the art category, the winner wrote in her application, art is where my soul rests at peace where my feelings say more than words, and where tools take all my power for the cause. One of her first volunteer opportunities was to inform fellow students of the dangers of STDs, 
like HIV, AIDS, and other diseases, as well as dangers that are caused by illegal substances. She created bulletin boards and posters to hang around her school and held presentations to spread awareness of healthy lifestyle, anti-drug use, and STD prevention to teenagers. Her art teacher says she's one of the strongest leaders. She volunteers to help other students and does so with patience, thoughtful consideration, and perseverance. She is known as their dream student by all her other teachers at the high school. The winner of the 2020 Golden Herald Awards in Art is Lorena Serini of Bayshore High School. And the honorable mention goes to Kia Kamina of SCF Collegiate School. Congratulations to both of you and all the art category nominees. In the athletic category, this senior suffered from multiple injuries and medical ailments, which continues today. That took her off the basketball team as a player, but on the team as an essential manager, game day operation organizer, as well as score and statistic keeper for her school's basketball program. Her sacrifice and service to the program goes far above and beyond from providing rides to those who lack transportation to providing meals to those who lack access to meals before and after practice and games. All this in addition to being an honor student and working part-time. She states her most important community outreach volunteer project was organizing the boys basketball team to create a fall magical evening at Able Elementary where students and community could bond and unite. It also helped the team to step out of her comfort zone to interact with children. The major project was a huge community event with games, crafts, foods and prizes as well as the local fire department who showed the kids their fire trucks and equipment. She was the lead contributor in putting the, the event together and most impressive, says her counselor, was seeing the children who attended come up to her and give her hugs, huge hugs. She does not do anything for recognition and does not do anything that's easy or convenient, especially with her medical ailments, but she does perform what she feels is correct, genuine, and impactful, even if difficult for her. Congratulations to Brianna Irma of Braden River High School as the winner of the 2020 Golden Herald Awards in Athletics. And honorable mention, Don Janique Morgan of Palmetto High School. Congratulations to you both and all the athletic category nominees. The winner of the business category was a co-founder of the school's first ever business and entrepreneurial club. The club provides a creative outlet for students with business ideas. They have organized various money-making events for the peers at their school, like selling hot chocolate on cold days during sporting events, and have had several businessmen and women from the community speak to them of their wisdom and advice on their earnings. The club had a remarkable successful first year and decided to donate half their earnings to St. Jude's Children's Hospital and to another local non-for-profit organization. The winner also started a Bible study at his school as a freshman. He started with two students per mentor, but now as a senior, this study group mentors eight to 10 students every week. He is amazed at all the questions about the Bible or just teenage life. And he is now a volunteer at his church youth ministry. Beyond all these volunteer club hours, he has attained AP scholar and distinction designation, which means a minimum of 3.5 on all AP exams and a score three or more at least five of these exams. He also is a member of the Hispanic Honor Society, National Honor Society, Beta, Beta Club, and has achieved the highest merit award in AP capstone program. These classes focus on developing critical thinking, 
research, collaboration, time management, and presentation skills needed for college level work. It is my honor to announce the business category winner of the 2020 Golden Herald Awards to Knox Johnson of Bradenton Christian School. Congratulations. The honorable mention winner is Amadine Lewis Charles of Southeast High School. Congratulations to both of you. The Citizenship Winners Teacher says in 15 years of teaching, this student stands out as one of the top three students that they have had the pleasure of teaching. A hardworking, conscientious student, always trying to do her best and succeeding with an amazing attitude and work ethic. She is the executive officer of her school's JROTC, maintaining the paperwork of 30 cadets. As commander of the JROTC drill team, leads a squad of six and assists with leading a platoon of 12 cadets in training. And she has the highest GPA of JROTC in her class and is a member of the National Honor Society. Most of her volunteer time has been sent with Habitat, Habitat for Humanity, where she gives back with her leadership and communication skills. As officer in charge, she coordinates the volunteers with the supervisor and goes over the necessary safety instructions with the volunteer duties. She is also accountable for paperwork and attendance. Through her volunteer experiences, she has seen significant impact of her efforts on others while experiencing the exhilaration of helping others in need. Knowing she made a difference in someone's life is a real motivation to continue to be a volunteer for life. Another outstanding give back over winter break and outstanding of school, outside of school affiliated projects, she volunteered at Meals on Wheels program, delivering meals to homes and meeting those few individuals that qualify for the program. And she feels it is her civic duty to give back to those in need, especially during holiday times. It is my honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award of Citizenship from Braden River High School, Tess Zambella. And the honorable mention winner is Regan Cole of Southeast High School. Congratulations to you both on all the citizenship category nominees. In computer and technology category, this winner served as both the marketing manager and coordinator of her school's community outreach program, STEM 360. She was responsible for editing all content, public relations, website, social media, and engagement with potential and existing partners. She helped her team achieve over 10 million impressions in one year, raising awareness for her team, school, and county. Her teachers state she is a diligent student with a strong work ethic and excellent time management skills. She goes beyond expectations to ensure she is achieving her potential and her presence brings motivation to her class. She's a member of National Honor Society academic team as well as a member of the Technology Student Association where she has made a huge contribution to her school as a role model and tutor. It is my honor to announce Abigail Owen of Palmetto High School as the 2020 Golden Herald Award winner of Computer and Technology. An honorable mention winner from Southeast High School, Gaurav Gar. Congratulations to you both and all the computer and technology nominees. The drama winner spent six years in foster care system, which took away her access to dance class. So her most important community service involvement was creating a free after school program called Beyond the Bell. The classes are primarily for third and fifth grade students, but now also has a few second grade students from Freedom Elementary and students who cannot afford to take additional dance classes. She has instilled a love of dance in a variety of styles that range from ballet to lyrical to hip hop and jazz. As a creator and only teacher of this program, she creates 
all the lesson plans, choreographing dances that showcase certain talents while challenging these students to work hard and stay focused. She says, as an educator, her job is to teach them to dance, but is also to make the students feel like they are safe and have a place they belong. She feels what she has really given back to the community is resilience. The winner also participates in We Read program that partners her high school with surrounding elementary schools, allowing younger children to read via Skype by someone who serves as a positive role model. She is a member of the National Honor Society and serves as Public Relations Committee Chair, which offers tutoring and leadership to her peers. She has been on as an assistant teacher at Art Center of Manatee for the past four years with students from five to 13 years old, including both able and disabled. It is my honor to announce 2020 Golden Herald Award drama winner from Braden River High School is Ashley Sendry. And honorable mention winner, Kyle Wample from Braden River High School. Congratulations to both of you and all the drama nominees. The winner of English and Literature is motivated and passionate, which is why they were chosen as one of the only two seniors to have the honor of participating in the Capstone Scholars Program. The student believes that creating a culture that supports creative writing will be infectious among students. As she continues her own daily writing, she has also been researching the pedagogy of creative writing instruction for the unit she is leading for the freshmen. For each analytical, she designed a pre- and post-unit survey to determine if attitude changes as a result of her instructions. She works hard on her curriculum. She also inaugurated a writing award to a freshman student has, who has been influenced to write as a result of her instructions. Her dedication to Capstone will be a legacy at her school in creative writing, instructions, and celebration for years to come. The student also volunteers by tutoring at a local boys and girls club where she quickly realized the difficulties of some adult learners. She found a GED preparation tutoring service, working with students at Manatee Technical College. She not only took on the role of primary tutor, but she also recruited volunteers, developed schedules, and marketed their services. It is my honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award English and Literature winner from St. Stephen's Episcopal School, Cassandra Hackman and honorable mention winner from Braden River High School, Demi Dianola. Congratulations to both of you and all the nominees. As president of the Hispanic Honor Society at school, this foreign language winner has been tutoring students for years. The student paired his bilingual and bicultural skills and entrepreneurial passion to make a difference in our community. He created projects to raise funds by organizing dress down days through administration, donation contests, and even tutoring service with the cost of a donation to charity. As a result, he raised significant funds for St. Jude Research Hospital, Solve Maternity Homes, the Manatee Baptist Food Pantry, and even helped send a student to Guatemala for two months to do service projects through the Juvene International Organization. He has a strong desire and drive to be an entrepreneur, and as a senior, started an entrepreneurial club at his school. As the founder and president of the club, he brought in guest speakers, created a business plan, and launched their own apparel business that has raised substantial profits, which will be donated to the local charity organizations. This is how he has served his community, and with this project, he is making a difference. He has mastered top grades in his honors and AP classes, and with the aggressive schedules, he always finds the time to pursue volunteer activities. His inspiration comes directly from his heart, says his teachers. It is an honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award Foreign Language winner from Bradenton Christian School, Juan Antonio Giraldo. And the honorable mention winner from Braden River 
is Cade Solomon. Congratulations to both of you. The next winner in general scholarship category has maintained the highest merit of an impressive 4.57 weighted GPA during her entire four years. Not only has she demonstrated exceptional academic ability, but motivation and interest in foreign languages and cultures, sports, and leadership. This winner is an AP scholar, member of the Spanish Honor Society, and the National Honor Society. She believes service organizations are the heart of our community and volunteers during the summer at Downtown Ministries who primarily serves the homeless in Downtown Bradenton by serving breakfast. She feels that taking care of everyone in the community, specifically the less fortunate, is essential in developing an honorable and inclusive community. She also volunteers at Top Soccer, which is an organization that gives kids that are mentally and physically disabled the opportunity to play in a soccer season. She recently was paired with a four-year-old who suffered with cerebral palsy. They met every Sunday during the eight-week program, and during the program, they worked on soccer skills, relationships, and overcoming physical battles. She learned from this venture that values of making others feel important. It is an honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award in General Scholarship winner from Bradenton Christian School, Savannah Woodland, and honorable mention winner, Jake Whitten from Braden River High School. Congratulations to both of you and all the General Scholarship nominees. The winner in journalism category is the yearbook editor-in-chief, and this past year was given the opportunity to start a new project for a nearby elementary school. She created and published a newsletter for the school to send home to parents. She worked with fourth grade students to teach them the important skills regarding the many subcategories of journalism, how to conduct an interview, taught them how to capture the moment, by photographing their fellow classmates, and finally, the most challenging, creating a layout for the completed first ever school newspaper for Miller, Miller Elementary School. She says the relationship she built with the staff and students are the ones she will never forget. In addition, she also volunteers at the Rocky Bluff Library during the high school year and has served many hundreds of hours during her tenure there. Her primary role is to help promote the importance of literature, composition, and education in general to young audiences. She also learned the Dewey Decimal System to sort and shelve books, assisted patrons in finding resources, and cleaned many audiobooks and DVDs. She has learned how to perform book repairs to any novels that are in poor condition. Her favorite volunteer job is assisting the staff with youth programs and recommendations she gives to avid young readers. She has taken the most challenging courses in high school offered through the four years, taking advantage of the advanced placement and honors courses. She is well-rounded and is involved in student council, service clubs, and volunteers at church. It is my honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award Journalism winner from Manatee High School Sonali Vivekar, and the honorable mention winner, Lauren Whitten from Braden River High School. Congratulations to both of you. The teacher of the winner in mathematics sums up his character with two words, exuberant confidence. The student takes on assignments exuberantly and is confident in his potential success. Performs duties both academically and athletically with persistence and excellence. And this student potential is unlimited. He is also vice president of his school's mathematics club and a volunteer tutor 
in the after school enrichment program at Manatee Elementary to assist with teaching the students various core subjects so that their grades and scores increase. The goal of this year's long program was to explain different concepts like how to read, perform long division, and have proper habits and attitudes with the 20 to 25 students several times a week. Since the students were young, pre-kindergarten to fifth grade, they mixed in fun, yet enriched activities using simple games with toys and tricks to help them remember addition and multiplications. The program was so effective that the school has requested it again next year. It is my honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award Mathematics winner from Southeast High School, Akash Bogavarapu, and the honorable mention winner from Braden Christian High School, Aiden Williams. Congratulations to both of you. The winner of music has strong work ethics and leadership skills. This winner has been a drum major both her junior and senior year. She is an outstanding musician, is well respected by her peers, and excels in her rigorous academic studies, carrying an extraordinary strong score of a weighted 4.35 GPA and unweighted 3.95 GPA, respectively. As the drum major and band president, she has led her school's marching band of pirates to a state championship for the past three years. She's passionate about conceptualizing abstract ideas and thinking beyond the constraints of a closed mind. She participated in many community services programs by tutoring high school students, organizing walks and marathons, as well as school beautification projects and community parades. She routinely gathers members of the school band to volunteer at local charities and organizations. She is a member of the National Honor Society and regularly volunteers with many organizations, Neuro Challenge Foundation for Parkinson's, Habitat for Humanity, Tri-M Honor Society, Senior Advisory Board, the Heart Occupational Students of America, and Unidos Now. It is my honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award Music winner from Braden River High School, Penelope Sugg and the honorable mention winner, Lily Potter of Lakewood Ranch High School. Congratulations to both of you. In science, the winner's teacher says she has a true passion for science and her passion has inspired her to create an environment for others to be enthusiastic about learning. This student was influenced in setting up STEM nights at Pomasola and Moody Elementary, where she created small workshops in both math, physics, biology, and science for elementary school students to participate in project-based learning. The student taught the physics behind Captain America's shield and explained the science behind the Golden Gate Bridge structural integrity. This intrigued the young students to be innovative thinkers and it cultivated interest in both science and in math. She's a leader and role model amongst her peers. She is the president of her science National Honor Society, which includes sharing internship opportunities for students. She participated in a summer internship at Boston University, where she worked more than 240 hours in a lab conducting individual research projects, examining possible treatments for melanoma and sharing results with professors and scientists of the university. While in Boston, she volunteered with the Charles River Conservatory to remove an invasive species known as bittersweet from a playground in Cambridge. As the Lieutenant Governor, she provides information from the Florida District of Key Club to 12 respective clubs where she communicates with individual clubs, allocating service needs to each club and concerns with the community. This winner has done tremendous service for our community through her involvement in local organizations such as Keep Manatee Beautiful, the Safe Children Coalition, YMCA, 
the Bradenton Kiwanis, and UNICEF. It is my honor to announce the winner of the 2020 Golden Herald Awards Science winner from Manatee High School, Isabel Sanchez. And honorable mention winner, Graham Lewis from Southeast High School. Congratulations to both of you. The Social Science Golden Herald Award winner is fluent in both Spanish and English. This student is a tutor, role model, and mentor to younger students at Samoset Elementary, where many students come from immigrant parents or minority households. From her experience, she is aware of the struggles and obstacles these students face academically because they do not have the family support or resources. She shares her experience and encourages them to succeed. During the summer, this winner attended a leadership conference, Seminar for Tomorrow's Leaders, in which she gave a speech to over 200 students her age regarding goals and not giving up. As president of her school's Youth in Action and Students Working Against Tobacco, this winner has organized Red Ribbon Week to promote free initiatives to educate students on the importance of being drug free and she worked on organizing the students working against tobacco float for the DeSoto Parade and a Kick Butts Day Luncheon trivia event. She has shown leadership by holding class and after school meetings, making plans and follows through. One of her biggest strengths is she does not dismiss anyone's ideas, is mindful of their feelings and recognizes each member's strength. It is my honor to announce the 2020 Golden Herald Award Social Science winner from Southeast High School, Anayeli Alvardo, and the honorable mention winner from Bayshore High School, Rebecca Brining. Congratulations to both of you. Golden Herald Awards speech winner believes that public speaking is far more than just spouting words. It's the words that can change someone's mind or heart. For the past four years, this winner has placed first in Future Business Leaders of America and Future Farmers of America public speaking competitions. As thespian and drama club vice president, she mentors younger public speakers, guiding them through all aspects of speech from writing their first draft all the way to the moment they would stand in front of a panel of judges. She has not only taught them the art of public speaking, but the art of understanding oneself and making others look inward at themselves. These shaky students transition from quaking with note cards in their hands to stepping on the floor with an ease that could convince anyone that they had been born with words flowing from their mouths. She has strong leadership skills, is respected by her peers, is an honor student, community volunteer, and seasoned performer, says her teacher. It is my pleasure to announce the 2020 Golden Herald speech winner from Braden River High School, Jordan Collis, and the honorable mention winner, Himana Shifloki from Southeast High School. Congratulations to you both. During this vocational winner's freshman year, she set up a project for volunteers to assist the residents during various activities at Windsor Assisted Living in Lakewood Ranch. Now as president of FCCLA, the Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, she has involved Windsor in her school's community service activities, so students now volunteer at Windsor on a weekly basis. FCCLA students work one-on-one -on -one with Windsor residents to help them play board games, bingo, beanbag toss, as well as serve residential families at monthly family night. It is so successful that now hosts of student members volunteer during holidays, 
with decorations around Windsor and in the residents' apartments, along with helping to run the annual Christmas gala. Many residents have created a bond with the volunteers and feel a sense of community in their weekly visits. It has taught the students the need of others, specifically the elderly, who need more help with daily activities and, of course, the value of patience. She also got her fellow students involved in other community service projects, Books for a Better Future, where over 200 books were collected throughout the year and donated to 20 elementary schools in our state. She presides over 10,000 members at state, as state president of Florida FCCLA, where she leads students from all areas and interests within FACS classes. She attends many district events to support the programs, and in early February, went to Tallahassee to speak with congressmen and senators to ask for their support to continue vocational calls such as FCCLA. It is my honor to announce Morgan Kirschman of Lakewood Ranch High School as the 2020 Golden Herald Award winner in vocation and honorable mention winner from Southeast High School, Griffin Schwartz. Congratulations to you both. And now for the Borsheim Scholarship. We selected two additional nominees, winning a $1,000 cash scholarship each and one additional $500 winner. These additional scholarships are in memory of a longtime friend of the Golden Heralds and former Braden and Herald, Brad Borsheim. Brad was hired by the Braden and Herald as an IT specialist in the April of 2002 and worked as a system technician, lead system technician and lead programmer. Brad worked for the Braden and Herald for nine years and was a vital part of the work process. <clears throat> Brad was known to take on special projects and serve on different Bradenton Herald committees. He enjoyed volunteering for the Golden Herald Awards program and was very dedicated to the longstanding tradition of honoring outstanding high school seniors for their service to school and community. His family has personally donated these scholarships in his name for the past several years, and we thank you on the student's behalf. The winners of the Borsheim Scholarship Awards are the following. In the athletics category, Russell O'Dell from Bayshore High School. In the English and literature category, Marina Herrera from Braden River High School. And in the $500 scholarship winner, the science category, Matthew King, from Braden River High School. Congratulations to all of these outstanding students. In closing, this is a reminder that all Golden Herald nominees and award winners will be featured in a full page special in this May 10th Sunday's edition of the Bradenton Herald. Also, this program will replay on Manatee Educational Television, METV, Bradenton.com, ManateeMemorial.com, and YouTube. Thank you. Congratulations to all the nominees, and on behalf of everyone at Manatee Memorial Hospital, please stay safe and healthy. Have a good night.